Damage boosting weapons, there is one heck of a lot of them in game nowadays and in this latest series that has come to me in a dream we're going to go through looking at some of the ultimate end game farming boosting weapons, making our way steadily along to ones for lower level players, we'll take a look at chaos boosters, human, you get the idea, we're going to go through various different categories and just scope them out really but this time around we are looking at the 51% all boosting damage weapons, I've tried not to miss any glare obvious ones out but if I have because I'm a goon make sure you let me know in the comments and I'm sure I'll add them into a future one but I think we pretty much nailed most of them anyway we are beginning at join ultra Dage, so we're gonna start with the challenge fight ones which is one of the main ways you can go about getting these a lot of them are just upgrading weapons that you already have but in this case you can get the necrotic blade of the underworld don't panic folks not everything I'm showing you today is gonna need a necrotic sword of doom which spoiler alert is one we're coming on to later you can actually get an empowered caliber Vogue if you have one of those lurking around. You can also get an empowered Blade Master's Katana. However, the Blade Master's Katana is actually a rare item. So if you're really desperate for that, you're probably best just IODAing. But I wouldn't recommend using one on that at all. Anyway, let us go along to join Ultra Nulgaf. As I said earlier, every single item I'm showing you here has that 51% boost on. Here we have the over theme Blade of Nulgaf, of course, empowered up. Pretty much all of these ones here are actually from the Juggernaut items of Nulgaf quest. The best thing to do if you ever sure on these is just to head on to the wiki because it will tell you how to get each individual one. I'm quite a big fan of a shadow spear so you can get that one empowered up. We also have the blood letters however again those ones have been rare for some time now so if you're really really desperate for that that is an IODA job and then we've also got the manslayer. If you want to go ahead and grab that one you'll need to do the test of temptation quest from Taro actually in the Turk map itself so go speak to him. However in Nilgaf's mad shop you'll see you can actually get the sin of the abyss which is probably one that easier 51% item but there again I'm quite a big Nulgaf farmer so I have a lot of the pets to smash through these items here however if you have forgotten all about this one definitely worth checking out and potentially going on grinding for because you might have a lot of those resources already banked up okay next up we're going to the Exaltia Tower so that is joint time in and you'll be more than aware of Exalted Apotheosis by now however I swear this was a 50% booster when this first came out but maybe it has been 51% the whole time crucially this one is actually a static weapon and you can go along do your daily quest defeating the warden, Ezra Jam, and also the engineer. From memory, I feel like it was about 24 days to complete that one, doing it daily. However, don't quote me on that because I'm often slightly off on these things. Next up, along at Shadowfall, we have got the classic. It is the Necrotic Sword of Doom. Everyone probably knows about this, and if you want to go along and grind for it, it will take you a while. As you can see, I'm only on 1800 Void Auras, but since the introduction of these daily quests, it has made it considerably easier. And I think if you're a member, you can get the Void Auras within like 50 days or something now so that's ideal anyway if you go to hollow deep this time around you can speak to lay and do one of his hardcore quest lines and right at the bottom here is the hollowborn sword of doom don't be fooled however you will again need the necrotic sword of doom to even start this one so this really is the end game grind over the end game grind or in other words a double grind and finally if you wanted to get your hands on a dual necrotic sword of doom because you haven't already and have no idea how to as you can see you can go along to nostalgia quest you can merge with Yolga and then you'll be able to grab that one. Anyway guys, thank you all very much for watching. Please do leave this video a like and of course subscribe because I'm coming back and we will be looking at damage boosting weapons for a variety of things including low level players as we said earlier and of course different factions as well such as Chaos, Undead, etc, etc. So until next time, have a lovely day.